Uh, pangalawang uh, sample problem natin to for uh, statically indeterminate uh, members. So, dito sa problem na to, meron tayong uh, steel pipe which is filled with concrete and subjected to a compressive force of 80 kN. So, meron kang compressive force dito. Axial force, uh, axial load ulit to, no? Kasi, yun, naka-axial dito sa centroid ng ating uh, sectional area. So, uh, determine the average normal stress in concrete and steel due to this loading. So, the pipe has an outer diameter of um, 80 millimeters and an inner diameter of 70 millimeters. So, given na tayo ng uh, modulus of elasticity for both materials, we have uh, for steel, 200 gigapascals. Tapos for concrete, we have 24 gigapascals. So, uh, compared dun sa first uh, example problem natin, uh, baliktad naman ito dito ngayon. Ha? So, naka-encase yung uh, steel nasa loob naman yung concrete. So, last time kasi nasa labas yung uh, concrete, nasa loob yung steel. No? So, anyway, pareha pa rin silang composite na uh, system kasi dalawang materials magkaibang, o oh, dalawang components, dalawang members magkaibang materials. So, ang uh, required sa atin dito is uh, yung average normal stress ng concrete tsaka ng steel. Okay? So, first, uh, cut sections tayo no, para magamit natin yung uh, equations natin for static equilibrium. So, pag ikakat natin to, meron tayong dalawang resisting forces dito or uh, internal forces. Here, the force for, from steel tsaka force from concrete. So, summation of forces along Y, meron tayong equation na P steel plus uh, P concrete equals 80 kN. Kasi, i-divide nung uh, external load natin, i-divide nung dalawang, uh, dalawang forces. Pero pag ito yung given na uh, equation natin, ito lang yung available na equation, hindi natin masosolve yung uh, problem. No? Kasi yun, ito lang yung pwedeng i-provide ng static equilibrium uh, conditions natin. Since wala kang moment, tas puro way lang yung forces mo, wala ka na ibang magamit na equation. So, kailangan natin ng additional equation which is uh, uh, analyzing your deformation. So, upon the application of pure 80 kN na compressive force, makakompress yung uh, system natin. So, ibig sabihin, meron kang uh, resulting na deformation sa dalawang members. So, pag nakompress yung uh, dito sa top na part, ibig sabihin, sabay-sabay silang makakompress. So, pareho sila ng deformation. So, most likely, dito yung makakompress na side. So, dito yung deformation din. Anyway, so, ito yung uh, equation natin for deformation. Dapat pareho lang yung deformation ng steel tsaka deformation ng concrete. No? So, kung iaana natin, ito lang equivalent. So, uh, pareho sila ng length, 500 uh, millimeters makakancel yung length natin. So, matitira, we have P over AE steel tsaka P over AE ng concrete. So, A dito is uh, given kasi meron naman tayong dimensions na binigay. Tapos, yung E is uh, also given uh, dito. So, ang unknown lang dito sa uh, relationship na to is yung P ng steel tsaka P ng concrete. Okay? So, anyway, continue tayo. So, ito, ano, no? Wala na yung L, nakancel na. So, ang area ng uh, steel, itong casing sa labas, is equivalent dito sa total area minus area ng concrete, okay? So, pi over 4 d square, so pi over 4 80 square is yun yung uh, total na area. Sa subtract mo ngayon yung area na nasa loob, yung inner circle. So, pi over 4 na 70 mm square kasi given yung diameter na inner 70, outer is 80. So, ito yun, no? Ito yung area ng steel natin. Total area minus your area ng inner. Okay? Sinda, nilabasan natin yung pi over 4 since uh, Common naman yan sa dalawa, no? Pi over 4, 80 square, tsaka pi over 4, 70 square. So, anyway, yun yung, uh, ito na yung area ng ating steel. Tapos, ito yung given na 200 gigapascals, which is uh, equivalent to kilonewton per mm square. Okay? And then, sa kabila, meron tayong area ng concrete, which is uh, yung inner, no? Inner na area, uh, pi over 4, 70 square. Tapos, ito yung given na uh, E, 24 gigapascals, okay? So, ito yung uh, resulting equation natin. Pag-i-evaluate natin to sa calculator. So, meron na tayong bagong relationship. Uh, P steel is actually 2.55 P concrete. So, mas malaki yung uh, internal force dito sa steel compared sa concrete. So, twice. Twice ng uh, internal force ng uh, P is uh, yun, internal force ng steel. And then, recall na kanina meron tayong equation sa equilibrium that P steel uh, plus P concrete equals 80 kN. Therefore, Pag isa-substitute natin yung uh, 2.55 dito for steel, magiging ganito yung equation mo. So, P concrete na lang. Masusolve natin yung P concrete as uh, 22.53. Tapos, uh, yung steel is 80 minus 22.53, which is equivalent to 
57.47 kilo newton. Okay? So, meron na tayong uh, internal forces for uh, both materials, uh, steel at concrete. So, pwede na natin masolve yung uh, normal stress and ay normal stress sa concrete at steel. So, normal stress, balik tayo sa P over A. Okay? So, meron tayong P. So, newton na, natin, na naman gamitin natin para megapascals na agad yung uh, resulta. Okay? Newton per mm square is megapascals. So, P over A. So, madali lang. No? That's uh, 5.85 megapascals. Tapos sa steel naman, yeah, P, ito ulit yung A, total area minus yung inner area. You will have uh, normal stress for steel which is uh, 48.8 mega pascals. Okay? So, ito na yung resulting uh, stresses, normal stresses caused by your compressive na force na 80 kilo newton. Okay? So, that's it uh, for this uh, problem. Uh, Sana ulit tayo uh, for this uh, problem. No? Ah, dalawang problems na tayo. Second, tsaka, ito, tsaka yung first. Uh, medyo may grasp na kayo no? kung paano gamitin yung uh, actual deformation natin ng mga relationship para ma, ano, ma supplement yung static equilibrium natin ng mga equations. Okay? So, yun. Uh, thank you ulit sa pakikinigin. Uh, see you ulit sa ating uh, next na mga uploads. Thank you.